Hello everyone. I thought I would take this lazy Sunday of a day. Just do a simple get ready with me chit chat makeup kind of thing since I'm more into the makeup and just so I can update you with just things. I also wanted to do like a very glowy makeup look just because it's just one of those days I just feel like I just want to make myself feel good. What better way uh, than to throw a bunch of glowy products on my face? That being said, I moisturized everything and everything's good to go. Actually raining outside so it's super gloomy. Just something like this I feel like would just kind of brighten up my day. Anyway, this is the Spotlight Primer by Physicians Formula. And I'll put products like here and I'll link them down below because I don't know if I'll say all my products. We'll see. <laughs> Whoa. I just love this. This is like insanely, insanely glowing. Just update on my skin. So many of you all have been like requesting that I would test vitamin B5 on my skin or on um, my like, you know, pills, taking the pills. I'm actually in the middle of making that video. My acne, it's been a week since I tried it. The thing is, something with my shipping got all messed up, so like I wasn't able to continue the B5. I was doing it for like a week, and then I took a week break waiting for my pills to come in, and they never did until like the end of that week. So literally, my acne was coming back, but like I swear, I have noticed some difference. Mild difference, like it wasn't dramatic or anything, but again, it was only like a week. So I'm still doing it. I finally got my B5 in the mail and like I stocked up on that stuff So hopefully I won't have an issue like that again where all of a sudden I'm out of Supplements and like my shipping is all messed up and just doesn't want to come in on time Yeah, that was kind of stressful because I don't know There's just like nothing worse than having because like, I don't care about acne But it's just like the fact that it's painful like I just hate painful acne literally yesterday My acne for some reason on my chin to around it was just like throbbing <laughs> now Nasty, I know but like it just hurt and it's just like the worst feeling ever and it's so discouraging I have to deal with not just like what acne looks like but also just the physical side effects that it brings the pain It's just like the worst feeling ever and you just feel so defeated. I don't know Yeah, I've just this whole week I just have not been feeling the greatest about my skin again I don't let that affect my day-to-day -day life I'm not gonna let my acne get in the way of my goals and accomplishing what I want in life <laughs> I mean, that's ridiculous in my opinion. I don't think any of you should ever feel like you need to stop your goal process just because of the way you look or any other issues that you may be dealing with, whether it's something with family or friends or relationships, I don't know. <laughs> Self-esteem, body issues. Just know that we literally are all the same people with different struggles, but we all have struggles nonetheless. So you are definitely not alone when it comes to that. Okay, we are very, very covered today. <laughs> and still looking glowy with that primer we just put underneath. For the heck of it, I'm gonna put some tardiest pro glow. Oh my god, I put, I squeezed way too hard. This is like way too much. What am I gonna do with all this? I could put some on my body. This is so much. I still have so much left. Okay, we're just gonna, oh my gosh. Okay, we're just gonna put some on my decolletage. <laughs> Gonna put some on the brow bone. I haven't even put concealer on, so it's gonna look so weird. <laughs> this is already gonna be very interesting makeup video. But honestly, the goal in the title, it's glowy, so we're gonna be glowy. I'm not even gonna be stressed about this, but right now we're looking like a metallic Rudolph Red Nose or <laughs> the metallic Disco Ball Nose Reindeer. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> it's a look. I'm making a new trend for 2020. <laughs> Don't mind this. I'm gonna quickly do my brows, concealer, and then I'm gonna blend everything in. So you're gonna have to deal with looking at this for a little bit. Anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> confidence. <laughs> if you wanna be confident, you just do what I just did and you'll be radiating sunshine. I'm literally the sun right now. Okay, this is just Anastasia dip brow. Anyway, updates, <laughs> random update. I made a TikTok. I made a TikTok account. <laughs> Not really a life update, but I mean, I just kind of want to do a shameless plug and uh, make you all follow my TikTok account. My goal is to post like twice a day on there. Like I definitely want to go hard on TikTok. Just because also, as you all know, I am a music producer. And since that app is literally based off of music, <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. The app is literally based off of music. It would just make the most sense to be on TikTok since I do release my music.
There's one sketch that I was very proud of. I'll see if I could put it in here, but it's just like a how girls drink water versus how women drink water. And I just think it's like the funniest thing. But then again, I might be the only person that thinks that because I don't know. I find like the simplest things the funniest. <laughs> so I'll put it right here and play it right now and go follow my TikTok. <laughs> I just blended all that out because that was just really, really crazy. Quickly set my face. Well, oh my gosh, with the curly hair is fun. Okay, so I also dance. I love dancing. So I want to do more like dancing videos on there just because because I'm also thinking of signing up for like dance classes again because I just miss dance so much. Dance is like such a huge part or was a huge part of my life until like um, I quit dance class and I went to university just because everything was like getting in the way everything was just super super overwhelming and after that when i decided to fly to vancouver for music production school i still never obviously signed up for dance and it's just been kind of in the back burner so i feel like tiktok is almost like a nice platform for me to actually express myself with dance i just love like hip-hop contemporary just all like sassy dancing all that kind of stuff i just love showing my emotions or whatever personality vibrant personality <laughs> through dance i guess but yeah so there'll be plenty more of dance videos on there for sure because again i just love dance oh yeah also follow my spotify playlist down below i'm literally preparing and leading my way up to when i do release music and also i really want you all to like let me know what you want to listen to like i assume like pop kind of stuff i want to produce more poppy but also like do you like house music like pop kind of EDM pop, like what Marshmallow Chainsmokers are kind of doing, like that kind of vibe. Poppy music, but it's like house ish housey edm ish because that's kind of my like my personal favorite genre is future house music it's my favorite all-time genre <laughs> comment down below what your favorite genre of music is so that also give me again a way better idea of what you all want to listen to also this i keep talking about vlogging my music producing day in the life kind of thing but like i'm so nervous to vlog in public so like also let me know because I know quite a few of you wanted to see behind the scenes kind of what I do on a daily basis when it comes to like you know my music production stuff so um I'm thinking I'm gonna probably release a vlog within the next week uh <laughs> but I'm so nervous let me know if you want to see that because I know quite a few of you have already commented wanting like to see it and like what I do all that kind of stuff I'm just so nervous but if you guys can like hype me up <laughs> <laughs> then maybe I'll post so you get a sneak peek again of what the heck I'm doing <laughs> Also, I was thinking um, because again, I've also got a comment asking to do like a Q&A thing Just again, so you can kind of ask me questions that I wouldn't typically think of like, talking about on a random Oh shoot, I forgot to put this up <sighs> Oh my gosh, I'm crazy. I'm going crazy. I find this stuff dries like way too fast It does not blend out the greatest I'm curl my lashes Using Nick Cosmetics Superhero Mascara because it is so good. Get that excess off. Because <laughs> when I blink, it always, always transfers down. I always do that. I want to do some liner because why not? I should have done this before I put on mascara, but whatever. <laughs> this will be a bit trickier. Oh my gosh, I was totally going to do eyeshadow too. Oh my god. Man, this is already just... Ugh. Whatever, I was too caught up in what I was saying. But yeah, I've gotten some requests for um, a Q&A, some juicy stuff, I don't know. So I think maybe comment down here or you can just like comment on one of my Instagram photos. Basically, I wanna accumulate a bunch of questions and do a Q&A once I have enough questions. Man, I'm so disappointed. I was gonna do eyeshadow. Whatever. I'll just put something in the crease or something. Cause I really like I like this orangey shade. Oh, this is unique. I'm doing uh I'm doing everything in reverse today. It's okay. At least we have some sort of like dimension in the crease. Some sort of dimension. Do, 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 do. 
Oh yeah, and also let me know if this is a good idea because I already made it. It's just like I'm waiting on it because I don't know like if I should do it or not. <laughs> but since I have been getting like quite a few of you wanting to know more of my personal life, just some more like in-depth juicy stuff, whatever that means, but just like more personal stuff. But basically I made a Patreon. Um, I feel like all YouTubers are doing that, but it just made the most sense to me in the sense that like it's just stuff that I would not typically talk about probably on the channel. Any of you that like again want to dive in more into my my, you know, day-to-day -day life, personal life, I don't know. Obviously, I want to do like vlogs and more personal videos on here. I feel, I don't know what I'm doing with my eyes. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. <laughs> How can I fix my eyes? Whatever, let's just put some color. Ooh, that's so pretty. I don't think I've ever used this color before. Holy crap, that is pigmented. Whoa, I didn't even wet my brush and it's like amazing. What? Man, this palette is like bomb. Holy crap. Yeah, basically I'm thinking of posting there like once a week. Just kind of like very, very chill, laid back videos, kind of like unfiltered, unedited kind of stuff. Wow, this eyeshadow is so good. Why didn't I use this before? Man, you all know I'm not an eyeshadow person, so this is just me BSing and just kind of like making things up. I don't know what I'm doing. And also, I already did this wrong to begin with because I <laughs> already did my liner and lashes. I don't even know why I did that. Because I don't normally do eyeshadow, so I just never think of it. I'm gonna take my Gerard Cosmetics in the shade Grace. This is like such a blinding highlighter. It's so pretty. Take some. Woo, 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 woo. This is insane. Seriously, so insane. Oh my gosh, that was... This is so crazy. Okay, just take a bit. <laughs> I like redid that. I'm gonna put a bit more in the corners. Oh my god. Cupid's bow. Or what is this? The brow bone. What the heck was I saying? Okay, this is a uh, Rebel Rose in Wet n Wild. Such a good lipstick. I love this lip color so much. This just lip color makes me so happy. Oh yeah. This lip color is like, I just can't get over this lip color. I'll definitely link this one down below. This, you guys need to pick this up, it's so good. I honestly don't think it matches anything, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm learning. I'll quickly top it with the tartiest lip paint in the shade Insta Famous. This is such a beautiful, beautiful shade. Actually, wait, I'm actually gonna mix this too. With the Wet n Wild and Honey Glaze. Such a beautiful metallic, look at that. <laughs> Instant instant metallic -y shine and then this I'm gonna top it off. I also have this. I don't know why I didn't use this This is like my new favorite li uh, drugstore lip gloss. This is the essence si shine 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 in the shade smile sparkle shine This stuff specifically like the shade and this lip gloss it like makes your lips so like Look at that like just as glowy as my tardiest or tartiest <laughs> lip paint. I love it Anyway, is this looking okay? <laughs> My eyeshadow, it's like, it's something else. <laughs> anyway, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going out after this, so it's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly put on lashes off camera and I'll be back. <laughs> there we go, I got my lashes on. <laughs> I really wanna try new lashes too. I feel like I'm kinda over these lashes. <laughs> I feel like lashes honestly too make or break a look and I just feel like I need different lashes. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I'll link it down below. You obviously don't have to feel obligated to join at all, but again, it's just kind of like a fun extra thing I wanted to do. Okay, right, I'm just gonna spray my face. Woo, okay, there we're looking fabulous. <laughs> I feel like I haven't read from my book in a while. I've actually like came across this quote today saying, just like if any of you were kind of working to like accomplish goals and whatnot, I came across this quote. It's kind of like simple, but it kind of is like, just sticks in the back of your head just because you do, it, it's a genuine question to ask yourself. But if you truly want to know if you are growing, just take a look the previous year and ask yourself right now, do I have the exact same problems that I did the previous year? And if you did, then obviously something does have to change in your regular routine. And if not, that is amazing. Keep going. But I felt like that quote I came across today is like, again, it's so simple, but it's like, yeah, it's like sometimes people just don't ask themselves if they are dealing with the same issues that they, you know, have been for the past year and like things just never grow. So definitely ask yourself that today. 
<laughs> want you to do that as a homework. And also, it's kind of funny how like I observe the moment people decide to give up and like doubt themselves and like kind of stop what they're doing. Usually the next moment, that's when like the miracle happens. I guarantee you like the moment that you doubt yourself and think that things are not going to go your way. Usually the change happens right around the corner. It's like if you just went for one more week, then you probably would have seen the results that you want to. But that literally is just in itself just patience you have to be patient with everything you do and everything that you're trying to accomplish it's just patience so definitely don't be too hard on yourself this week when you are trying to go towards what you want in life and just know that the universe will give it to you once you are ready for it just respect the process and don't rush the process and everything does happen in divine order i firmly believe that and again patience is probably the word of the day the word of the week the word of the month <laughs> the word of the year because yeah I find that people want things way too instantly and I honestly am guilty for that myself you know people are impatient because they never had the chance to actually be still for once in their life and just kind of appreciate the moment and the now and again trust the process and I think with that mindset of just knowing that things will come again once you are ready for it but again things do take time but nothing worth having comes easy but if you want it enough it will definitely, most certainly be worth it at the end of the day. So, with that being said, I honestly don't know why, why I was going on a, <laughs> on some sort of preachy tangent, but um, I just felt like it was right to say that just because I just feel like just everyone once in a while needs a reminder of things are going to be okay and again, things aren't as bad as you think they are and you just have to be gentle with yourself and yes. <laughs> <laughs> and again, everyone has their own routine and order and way of doing things So don't think that your way of doing things is the wrong way because everyone's way of doing things is so different So there's not there can't possibly be one right and correct way of doing things um, In order to get stuff done. So yeah, just know that there's my rant and my tangents that I always go on But you are all beautiful. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much for joining me again. Just chill video uh, me doing my makeup hope you all got the chance to do your makeup with me and yeah i hope you have a good day good night whenever you're watching this please subscribe if you want to see more of me i post every sunday and thursday and i will see you in the next video okay <laughs> peace